everyone, we're back with a new LP. Today we are playing Toonstruck. Uh, this one was released in 1996, it was developed by Burst Studios and published by Virgin Interactive Entertainment. Uh, I really like this one. It's not the greatest game. Okay. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to show it off to you and see what you think. Well, I, uh, I'm excited to see it. Yeah, because uh, so Genghis is going blind for this one. I'm I in am. the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you know anything about this game? I know that it's called Toonstruck. Okay, well, let's not dawdle. We'll dive on in then. Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay. Hello. Drew Blank? Yes. This is Dr. Stern's office. I'm calling to remind you about your dental appointment tomorrow uh, morning. Okay, I can... Mr. Blank? Yes? You've missed your last three appointments, Mr. Blank. Uh, yes, I know. I, I mean, I mean I, I'm mean, i sorry. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I must have forgotten. It's only a filling, Mr. Mm. Blank. So you'll be here tomorrow, 10 a.m. sharp? I promise. I'll be so there to make up for all my missed appointments. I don't care what you do, Mr. Blank, as long as you don't forget again. Yes, yes, yes. I, I remember. I remember. All right, Drew. I'm sorry. But if you remember, then why aren't you... Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, Maxine. I, 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 I thought you were... Oh, why aren't I what? Your meeting with Schmaltz, it started ten minutes ago. So dead. In my day, being late for a meeting with one's superiors was grounds for immediate dismissal. See that it doesn't happen again. Yes, sir, Mr. Schmaltz. I'm sorry. Now then, I'm sure you're aware that this season marks the 10th anniversary of the Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun Show. Frankly, we've milked this formula long enough. Bun Bun needs a boost. It needs revitalizing. It needs a shot in the arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. A shot in the arm, yes, sir. It sure does. And since Bun Bun's your creation, I want you to personally administer this revitalizing shot. Thank you, sir. Here's how I see it. We create a big batch of happy, cute bunnies to share the spotlight with Bun Bun. It's an all-new show, and we call it Fluffy and Friends. After all, if one bun can carry a company like Sam Schmaltzing for 10 years, a whole truckload of things has got to be a gold mine. 24 carat. <laughs> Get it? Yes, terrific idea. That is exactly what the show needs. Uh, more bunnies. Of course it's a terrific idea. That's why I get paid the big bucks. Well, what are you waiting for? Go make. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, yes, sir. I want the new characters on my desk first thing tomorrow morning. And this time, don't be late. Tomorrow morning. First thing, yes, sir. Okay. Rabbits. More sweet, friendly rabbits. Rabbits that do nice things. Rabbits that not only care, but share. Focus on bunnies. <sighs> hey, kitties, let's get happy. 
that happy? It's Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun time! Oh no, no, no! What are you doing on at four o'clock in the morning anyway? deadline hanging over my head, and apparently a lifetime of therapy to look forward to. So please, just slap me, or, or tell me there's no place like home, or do whatever it takes to get me out of here. Well, I guess, if it means that much to you. So, you mean you do know how to get me home? Hell no! I have problems finding my own way home, but I do know a guy who might be able to help. So you see, King Hugh, your wonderfulness, Drew needs to get back home. Can you help him, can you, huh? Oh, dear, 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 I'm so sorry for all the trouble you've been through. Uh, of course I'll help you find your way home. Told you. Thank you, your majesty. But uh, there's just one teensy-weensy little problem. Let me explain. We are here, Qtopia. That's where I live. That's where I live, right there. Zany do. It's kind of like an offshore asylum, but to me, it's always been home. <laughs> <clears throat> Back to you, your benevolence. Yes. As I was saying, we are here in Qtopia, home of the happy, helpful Qtopians. And, of course, they're good and just king. It's me. We were all so very, very happy until we fell under attack by a very wicked man, Count Nefarious. Don't even like to look at him. Who oh, would? Nefarious is ruler of the Malevolands and its dismal denizens. He has perfected a Malevolator. Hey, that's the thing that took a shot at me! It's a terrible flying weapon of Nefarious's own invention. The Malevolator shoots a powerful ray that corrupts everything it touches, turning all that is sweet and pleasant into all that is sinister and ugly. So, I'm afraid, Mr. Drew, we really need you to help us before we can help you. But how could I possibly help? My Brave spies have stolen the blueprints for Nefarious's bad, bad machine. My royal engineer is using these plans to build a cutifier, a device which will reverse the damage Nefarious has done. Mr. Drew, please, I need you to help us finish the cutifier so that we can end Nefarious's reign of terror and make the world a happy place. And then, I promise you, I will do everything in my power to help you get home. Don't worry, your benevolence. We'll save you. Won't we? Mr. Drew? Sure, your highness. I, 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 I'd be happy to help. Absolutely splendid. Thank you, friend. You can't possibly understand what this means to me and my kingdom. Before you leave the castle, please stop by my laboratory so my engineer can show you the cutifier. And remember, all of Qtopia is counting on you. Oh, wow. 
wow, this looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, get used to it, because uh, we're in the game proper now. All, all right. I, uh... There's a message hanging from the doorknob. Do not disturb. Busy formulating alternative plans for saving my kingdom. Thanks. <laughs> All right. King Hugh does not uh, have much faith in us, I guess. Uh, I mean, you know, it's good to have a plan B. Yeah. Yeah. But so uh, we're going to wander on down here and uh, check with King Hugh's scientist to figure out this whole cutifier business. Oh. Hello. Oh. Looking for the royal engineer. Well, he won't be annoying, I can tell. I, yeah. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> you see the engineer? Would you tell him we're looking for him? I will. But he's rather preoccupied right now. <laughs> his glasses. Now, where can they be? Yeah, um, get ready to meet my most hated character in the first, like, 20 seconds oh, of good. <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> is, is it this dude? I, yeah, I'm not... Alright, I, I don't blame you. That's, uh... Whew. You know, there's, like, lovably quirky, and then yeah. there's this shit. Something about him just kind of rubs me the wrong way. You're the royal engineer. Is it the t the terrible voice acting? The bad hair I, I mean, the voice acting, like, is okay. It's just maybe, I don't know, the voice... Sorry, I should specify. The voice itself is just annoying. Yeah. It's not that they did a bad job doing the voice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that character's voice, by the way, is brought to us by Corey Burton, who is a longtime voice actor. Uh, he's done work for the Gummy Bears, Rescue Rangers, Goof Troop, Bonkers, like a lot of Disney stuff. Is that a foot? Uh, yes it is. So we're gonna chat with this guy, cause, uh... Could we have a word with you? Certainly. Which word would you like? Oh, he's a footman. <gasps> you got it. So we have this little ice cube thing here. Okay, where did we get that from? Well, this kind of indicates that there's more in the conversation that uh, we can... We, there's more to the conversation. Okay. Why an ice cube? Being a trifle difficult. Uh, because you're breaking the ice. That's enraging. <laughs> <laughs> Just you gentlemen be on your way. Hey, wait a second. What kind of a butler are you anyway? For your information, no kind of butler at all. Are you blind, sir? Flux, look at him. I think he's a footman. What? So you're telling me a butler would be a great big... Oh. Mm -hmm. But see, so now the ice cube is slightly melted, so that indicates that we have uh, a bit more dialogue to go. Okay. All sorts of You know, I like, fine. Mm -hmm. In the tribute to Hugh essay contest, most likely to succeed, best king of Cutopia. Best king of Cutopia? Yes, that one's quite an honor. It was bestowed by the king himself. <laughs> Think it's just a little bit funny that the king has proclaimed himself? Well, if, if, you know, you can give the illusion that it's a meritocracy. Yeah. No. So honored? Well, none. Exactly. So please, show our sovereign... The solution there is just re reward yourself. <laughs> it's fine. But he's not the king, though, so he doesn't have jurisdiction. Well, then just declare yourself king. I, I don't <laughs> see a problem here. But so now the ice cube is fully melted, so that uh, conversation path has been... All extinguished. Yeah. Fair enough. But we are able to ask about specific characters and things now. Okay. That's good. D. So, like, the ice cube's like your introduction. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Every night, I wind his precious royal music box. It begins to play its sweet little lullaby. And only then can my poor king sleep. Sweet dreams, your royal snookums, I softly... It's nice to have someone in your life who cares about yeah. you. Yeah! duties, you wouldn't understand. But uh, we'll talk about our royal engineer. Okay. Yes. He seemed a little... Because we weren't able to get uh, too far with him. Yeah. I'm assuming we have to find his glasses? Yes, we do. Uh. And uh, maybe the footman has an idea. Oh, yeah. bric brac has lost his glasses. Yes! That's right. Mm, I don't suppose he's... <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ask. Hmm. Well, while I find the troubles of our engineer most fascinating, sir... 
upsetting design aside, I kind of like this character. Yeah. Well, and you know, fun fact too is that Corey Burton also voices the footman. Oh, and see, I really like his voice here. Yeah. Oh, there well, you go. Well, it's and it's kind of funny just how you know, it, it just in this single environment, we could see just how much this one guy has range. Yeah, very diverse. Yeah. But uh, checking out some of the trophies on the wall here. Whoop! Oh. <laughs> Click on draw. Mm-hmm. Well, we're not gonna put dust on them. Maybe I'll just try a little sneaky sneak and oh no, <laughs> <laughs> still t can't Blood get it. for punishment. Move to the bone, dusting those. Please keep your hands off them. Do the other three heads ever get to say anything, or are they just like extraneous? I, I don't know if they have mouths. Huh? But that's uh, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. No but mouth must scream. So we can't. Uh, so we can't do anything with the footman in the room there. Okay. Thanks for showing off, Flux. Yeah, you know. So at least now we can go back and talk to Brickaback. Brick a brick a bat, bro. God. I can see why you don't like him. I <laughs> failure. Brick a brick a brock brick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rapping. <laughs> In your pocket? I had no idea. I wish I had them right now. Ch Frickin' check it! Pocket! Oh! Okay! My glass? Please tell me we don't spend much time with this guy. Um, after we get through all his conversation stuff, we are not gonna have to talk to him for a long, long time. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. That's good. Welcome to Team Happy! <laughs> Let me show you what I've been working on. Gentlemen, this is the blueprint for Nefarious's Malevolator. Now then, you see the 12 things installed inside the ship's deck? The whistles, the dagger, and whatnot. Well, they... That sure is a random collection of crap. Mm-hmm. 12 things to power the beam on our machine. But so far, I've only been able to find one. Can we see the blueprint? But that was the blueprint. But that was for the Malevolator. We need the Cutifidative. Well, as as uh, Drew is talking here. Okay. Get another Malevolation beam. See? What we need are 12 different things. Things of a different nature. Things that will produce the reverse effect. Oh, right. You said you had one thing that worked? Why, yes I do. Let's take another look-see at the blueprint. The one thing that seems to work is sugar. It works when I put it right there, where the spice is in the... Uh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fair so enough. have to find the opposite. Alright. Gotta go. What's the opposite of polish? Scuffer? <laughs> we'll see, I guess. <laughs> do now, where has it got to? Uh, you're still holding it, Wing Commander. Oh! <laughs> I hate you, bric -a Oh my god. Give you something that may help! A bottomless bag to carry- Look, I get that the absent-minded genius is supposed to be a thing, but there are limits. <laughs> <laughs> to my patience. Well, not even that, but, like, that's a good way to blow up your lab. Yeah, that's true. Things into the cutifier to see if they work, or we can just talk. No. <laughs> we'll see you when we get all the parts, my friend. Yes. No, wait, not friend. Acquaintance? What's the opposite of friend? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This brick of Oh, my God. Holy shit. <laughs> He's you. Who's who? Oh my god. Just put a pillow over his face. Yeah. Just put him Just, out of his misery. Yeah. Look, it'll feel bad for like three seconds, but then you'll realize that you've just done the and world a favor. You've made the right choice. God. But so now we gotta go through Breaker Brack's options. Oh god, why? Anything else you can tell us about our mission? Ooh, I almost forgot. I don't mean to frighten you, but there is a remote possibility. That we'll have to talk to you more? No. Just a tad irritating. <laughs> That's like calling cyanide unpalatable. Well, maybe so. But since he rarely leaves his castle, he's not likely to be a problem. Oh, I assume that he's going to be a problem. About <laughs> these three um, <laughs> goggles and 
Are, are they supposed to just look like rough sketches? Yeah. Fair enough. That's kind of cool. Yeah. We'll, we'll learn more about these guys uh, later on and why they look that way, too. Okay. I have my suspicions. Oh, look at all the shit we have to get through. Oh, God, why? I'm sorry. Have you ever heard the term? He's like, he kind of looks like Toucan Sam, but not <laughs> as interesting. <laughs> At least, at least when I talk to Toucan Sam, I know that I'm going to get some delicious cereal out of the deal. Right? With bric-a-brac, I just get sadness. <laughs> What's the opposite of cereal? It's sadness. Yeah, well, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Again? Well, all right, if you really want to. Here they are. Feedback, goggles, and lug nuts. But which is which? <laughs> if only we had a clue. Hmm. Oh, and here we were gonna throw him a party. Oh, that really What is that purple thing's name? I keep forgetting it. Flux. Flux, thank Flux. you. Flux wildly. Okay. That Okay. Yeah. So has King Hu been asking about us? King Who? Uh, huh, huh, huh. Oh, you mean King Hu! <laughs> He's my boss, you know. He's been asking how you two are doing with the... It just... It... <laughs> it's okay. It'll be over soon. Put a pillow over my face. <laughs> okay. <I'm... laughs> this, this is the end. Uh... <laughs> I'm taking over the channel. This was your plan all along. Yes. Subject me to this. Yes. Shh. Oh, Shh. oh, oh. That's It'll good. It'll be Thank over you. soon. <laughs> One left. Where are you going? Oh, no, no, no. I'm afraid it's not going anywhere. Well, that's not... Okay, I guess. Fine. Close. Close? Why, it's right here! Uh, that, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> You're a more patient man than me. I know, Drew is, Drew is a pretty nice guy. Yeah. But so here's the cutifier. Okay. It looks kind of dumb. Aw. <laughs> Red button to run the machine. If there are any problems... The computer will let us know. Yeah, so as uh, Bricker Brack mentioned earlier, if we ever want to test out if we've found the right part, we can come back here and do so. Okay, I am assuming we're going to try to avoid coming back here as much as possible. Oh, indeed. We're not even going to say goodbye on our way out. Good. He doesn't See deserve it. See you. You ruined it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your Canadian politeness overtook uh, your need to be rude. Damn it! Cupboard. <laughs> Stick your dick in it. No. <laughs> God no. <laughs> I mean, this is a game for for older kids, but not uh, not that old. No. You think King Hugh wants us to stay out of there? Heck no! I've always viewed a lot. What's this heck stuff? You said hell before. <laughs> Alright, so uh, not much else we can do here. Let's All right. uh, venture outside. Cool. And, uh... Uh, oh, okay. armadillos? Yeah, I like it. Blank, and this is my friend, Flux Wildly. We're building a machine that's going to save Qtopia. That's nice. Qtopia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. These are the palace guys. Well, yeah. Oh, I see. Building a machine? Utopia? Okay. <laughs> Do you have what? anything interesting to say? Let's show him, Sparky. Okie dokie, Chipper. Two, three, four. Oh, Jesus. Oh. So these two are actually voiced by Tress McNeil. Oh. And she, of course, she is also pretty well known as a voice actress. Mm hmm. Uh, she was Babs Bunny and, uh, oh god, Tiny Toons, uh, Dot in Animaniacs. Aww. She basically voiced all of my favorite female characters from my youth. Pretty much. Uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, she was Chip and Gadget. Okay, yep, yeah, makes um, sense. She's also been on The Simpsons. Uh, she's, yeah, again, yeah, pretty prolific voice actress. Yeah. Most importantly, I guess, we got a key. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh. I think what he means is just the fact that you guys care is already making him feel better. Hip hip! Hooray! Okay. 
You guys must be in constant contact with King Hugh, right? I don't trust King Hugh. <laughs> Anyone that smells that much, a little freaky. Yeah, a little weird. Oh, never say that again. <laughs> I've only met the king once, briefly. He was very kind to me, but I really like to know a little more. I think I think Drew's a little suspicious too. Yeah. Tell me about his royal smiliness. As he should be. He's our king! And his name is Hugh! Hip hip! Hooray! That's it? That's it! I mean, he's clearly surrounded himself with yes-men. <laughs> yeah. Boy, it sure has been a tough day. Hasn't it, Flux? Yes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mayday! Mayday! Our friends have the. Oh my God! Shut up. So we actually we didn't pick up that key earlier. It oh. just demonstrated to us that how... we could have got it. Yeah. Okay. Mm, don't mind me. Looks like the little fellow. Yeah. So while they're busy distracted dancing, we can just uh, quickly pick it up. All right. Oh, we have a bottomless bag. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Bricka Brat gave it to us. Ah, I missed that through my sheer hatred of him. <laughs> yeah, but so this is actually the key to uh, King Hugh's bedroom. Oh, that looks hor. Uh, that looked like a girl's stomach. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, there's one problem to solve. And one thousand one hundred and ten to go. Oddly specific. <laughs> oh, I see. Ah. Uh. Uh, it's a, it's a little weird to have your face everywhere. Yeah, but uh, let's take a peek. Oh, <laughs> I really like that rope animation. I don't know why. It's very <laughs> snappy. Yeah. Come on, your oh. Dare you, sir? That is the king's personal calling cord. Sorry about that. See that it doesn't happen again. He's apparently fine that we're in the king's room, I, though. Yeah, exactly. Does not care. <laughs> Let's uh, just keep poking around. No! Oh! Hmm. You're a genius! I moved a carpet. I'm a genius! Yeah, well, it takes a genius to move a carpet. Yeah. This is why I did so poorly in school. He did expertly roll it up as he moved it. That was pretty skillful. Yeah, I mean... Props where props are due. <laughs> We're just gonna ski, uh, steal King Hugh's music box here. Oh yeah, take everything that's not nailed down. Yeah. Don't shut down. Go right in. Don't be left out. Hmm. What could that mean? Hmm. So as you can imagine, uh, we can use that to complete a little puzzle here. Mm-hmm. And uh. Oh. A, a note on King Hugh. He is voiced by David Ogden Styers. Okay. Uh, he was in MASH as Colonel Winchester. Okay. He's also the voice of Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast. Oh. As well as uh, Jumba from Lilo and Stitch. Okay. Mm hmm. And uh, Governor Radcliffe in Pocahontas. Well, there we go. Yeah. A lot of a lot of well-known voice actors in this. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, they clearly had a budget. So, could you kind of go up there and dig around in Hugh's bed? <laughs> you want me to short sheet him? No, I want you to search. For Has anyone ever actually short sheeted somebody? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as you kind of saw here, at some points we need to send Flux to do something for us. Right. It's costume shop. Well, that's good, because I was worried he was superfluous. <laughs> he's, he's just kind of our buddy, you know, like... Yeah. It's not really a secret passage. It kind of is. more like a big hole. Well, no, we opened it up. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't reach it. And there's the trap door from the bottom. In Zanidu, we'd get a large can of beans. Huh. And a lighter and... Uh, this doesn't sound like it. Wait, so could we get in through either entrance? Well, you'll you'll see. Okay. Either, but it works. Boom. Because if ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, things are falling into place. Mm -hmm. Go stand on that loose floorboard for a second. Okay? Ho ho ho! <laughs> Treachery. 
Surprise, bitch! <laughs> I'm breaking your trust! Fox! You did it! Wow! That was hard! The leap? The floor! <laughs> but don't... But so, if you remember, we kind of want to oh. s snatch some stuff from that trophy room, but we gotta get rid of the footman. I getcha. And uh, the first time he showed up... Clever <laughs> little prank. Yes, indeed. Like I told you, don't pull that cord again. I'm not going to do anything to stop this, but... You know. But yeah, so if you remember, the very first time he came in, he stood right on the carpet. Sure did. So we just need to roll it back over, and third time's the charm. Woo! <laughs> Oh, it's ability to defy gravity. That's good. I mean, he is a cartoon. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh. Uh, oh. Ouch. <laughs> How inconvenient. <laughs> we'll do it. Okay, that was kind of cute. <laughs> So he's just gonna kind of stay there. Well, I mean, he's probably trapped and bleeding to death under that anvil. No, he's a cartoon. They don't bleed to death. Clearly, we do not watch the same cartoons. I guess not. All right, but now we're free to steal shit. Good. Don't mind if I do. It's the best part of any game. Mm-hmm. Yes. We always <laughs> wanted a giant fish. <laughs> Yeah, I like how he specifically uh, puts it in his coat. Oh! Yeah. So the, this one's a little tricksy. Okay. I'm assuming you have to find something to put on there in its place. Exactly. All right. So we're not uh, going to be able to take this one for a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Someday, my friend. As long as we have a fish. Someday you will be mine. Mm, keep hoping. All right. Well, we've done all we can in the uh, castle here. All right. So uh, just going to make our way to the front entrance, and that is going to be it for this episode. Wow. Mm -hmm. Pretty exciting. Yeah. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm liking it so far. It's kind of charming. Yay. Mm -hmm. Well, we will see you guys next time for part two. Unless we don't. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs>